So we've just made the uh, flight. We, we've departed, we've arrived in Alicante, and now we are on the bus, the coach transfer to the hotel. Um, there was a late flight, we got here quite late, and it's ended up that we've got here about quarter to 11. So we're probably about an hour later than we should have been, but safe to say we're on the bus and we're now on our way uh, to the hotel. So we are on our way to Benidorm. <laughs> So we've uh, arrived in Benidorm, we've checked into the hotel and after a, a, a quite a long coach transfer we've, we've finally made it. And we're on the balcony and this is, this is what you can see from the balcony, what a view. Welcome to Benidorm, and here is the Sol Pelicanos Hotel, where they filmed the smash hit ITV comedy, Benidorm. Now they didn't actually use the inside of the hotel, but they actually used the swimming pool, and they actually stayed in the apartments on the adjacent lot, which overlooked the swimming pool. So that's where we're gonna take you first. We're gonna have a little look at them, and we're gonna show you exactly what went on. But first of all, let's show you around the actual hotel. Um, because it absolutely looks lovely inside. So without further ado, let's get across this road and show you inside. Come so as you can see from the inside, none of the interiors for the TV series was actually shot in this actual foyer. The one thing I did like was the pot plant in the revolving door. As I make my way up to the fifth floor, I have managed to find room 535. Where on entry, most of the time the cards didn't work, but on this occasion, I got into my lovely hotel suite and was greeted by a simple room, but with very, very good amenities. And one thing I can comment on is that the Wi-Fi reception was amazing. However, the view from the balcony was a sight for sore eyes, and sitting out on this veranda for the whole holiday wasn't an option, because just below us was the magnificent pool. The pool itself gets very busy, especially around about midday, so you have to get down there quite early, but you'll always find a sun lounger. But this bar holds a lot more than you just can imagine. In fact, it's quite a famous bar, as I'm about to tell you. So this is it. This is the famous pool as featured in the TV series Benidorm. Um, so on many occasions you would have seen them in and around this pool. I think they would have been somewhere over there, but this here is significant here because this is Matteo's bar. Yes, this is where they would have come up to the side. They would have been around here actually, where we're standing drinking at the bar. Uh, getting drinks. It looked very different in the TV program because they had like, beer pumps and stuff, which you can see they've covered them up anyway. Um, but yeah, this is the pool. So a lot happened here uh, in the TV series. You know, all the fun. You had uh, Kenneth lounging out there in the dawn of the morning, drunk. You had the Garveys and you, you had everyone sitting around by the pool. And yeah, it was all good match coming around on a scooter. And there would have been so many famous people around this pool uh, that would have been featured in Benidorm. So, you know, such as Wendy Richard, um, you know, obviously the main cast, uh, you know, like uh, uh, Joyce Temple Savage, played by Sherry Hughes and that, all, all have been around here, all having a great time, having a good laugh. It's so amazing to actually be in the actual, or by the pole, not actually in it yet, but by the pole, uh, here in Benidorm, uh, otherwise known as the Solana Pole. Whilst I was getting over the excitement of being by the pool that featured in the TV series and everyone was eating their breakfast in the hall, I decided to look around it. And whilst it is very quiet this time, I got to see how the apartments that they used in the TV series reflected the actual pool setting. Early morning swimmers decided to descend upon the pool to get that bit of exercise before breakfast. 
but it was just looking at the actual pool and soaking up what the atmosphere must have been like when they filmed the series. However, dinner times can be carnage in the hall, especially if you're trying to get a decent meal. It's absolutely lovely. Can't fault it. After tucking into a decent meal, it was time to see what Benidorm was all about. And I heard the nightlife was exactly what it was about. From British pubs to clubs and all sorts of music, karaoke, you could get it. This was the place that I'd been longing to see for a while, until I stumbled across this little place. Well, if you can hear me, we are in a karaoke bar, believe it or not. And uh, I put my name in, so uh, Dutch Cullen. After an early rise the next day, it was time to head into actual Benidorm, go on the beach and see what the old town had to offer. So I thought I'd start what the main principle about the beach was all about. The thing that I wanted to see was this mysterious island in the middle of the sea. So we have another little location here. Just there is what they call in the TV series Peacock Island, AKA Dove Island, uh, where Mel Harvey found out that the reason why it was called Dove Island is because it's basically Dove Haven. Also, it was where uh, Joyce and Monty got married and Tony Hadley set sail across that singing gold over on that island. So it's been used quite a few times in the series. Um, and just around the corner there, um, on this very rocky face, is in fact the part where they built a restaurant where you see Les meet his date for the very first time. We ain't able to get up there uh, because it's quite a long walk and, you know, been badly sunburnt, so it's not going to be easy to get up there. But I can assure you, I have got a shot for you that you can see right now that will show you where exactly it is. And if you get time to go up it, visit it, it's meant to be really, really nice. If you're in Benidorm, the one thing you can't do, that you must do, is to visit the Old Town. And that's exactly what I did. Now the Old Town constitutes from bars, restaurants, little jewellery shops, sex shops, clothing stores, market stalls. It has a bit of everything. And the Old Town also has the famous paella on display, where you can actually buy it in most restaurants. However, this was the site that caught my eye. This wonderful fountain in the middle of, well, what it looks like to be a pavement. Turned out to be a roundabout. And as you're about to see, the roads in Benidorm are quite strangely laid out, as traffic seemed to go round these wonderful little roundabouts that look more like pavements. That looks confusing. Even that car had to stop to think about it once. Anyway, it was time to move on and visit the next location. Because the next location was about what Benidorm, in my eyes, the TV series, was all about. And it has to be the famous nightclub, Neptune's. Well there we have the famous nightclub as featured in the TV series uh, Neptunes, otherwise known as Morgan Tavern and in the series it's meant to look like it's actually part of the hotel complex but it really isn't. It's literally about 100 yards down from the hotel just down the road which is very good. It, you know it looks very convincing. We're going to go in and have a look now and we're going to just see what it's like and I've been told that it's pretty much like what it was like in the TV series. Um, the way it's laid out, the, the style sort of thing. So let's go and have a little look. It gets very busy so brace yourself and it's very loud but let's have a gander. You stole my heart, couldn't leave it, and I tried. 
there is so much to see and do in Benidorm. But unfortunately, my time had run out. And don't be fooled, I saw most of it that didn't even make the final cut of this video. But now it's time to get back on the plane and go home. Thank <laughs> you.